this is delicious VB with another tutorial and this tutorial is gonna be something different it's not gonna be a WPF or application or console application it's gonna be a class library a lot of you guys know a class library as a DLL file or an application extension and those of you who are familiar with DLL files, well, you're going to create one. For those of you who aren't, a DLL file is basically, for Visual Basic 2010, it is basically a file which you're basically importing classes and the functions and subs inside those classes so that you can call them on your own project um, and this and you can create a DLL file and this DLL file you can create is called a class library now let's um, name our new class library um, name it anything you want I'll just name it uh, test as DLL and it is going to open up a new project and now you have to realize um, classes are just coding there's no form there's no debugging you can't see it there's no form there's nothing it's just coding and making your own methods so this is public class class one okay this is your your first class of course and you can create as many as you want i'm gonna actually name this class test one oops test one now inside this let's create a few lines um let's create our first function public shared function so you want to share this function because if it is not shared you'll not be able to access it when trying to use your windows form now um public just makes it able to use outside of the class as long as the class is public of course um so and for those of you who aren't familiar with functions functions are um there are basically methods that return a value subs are methods that do not return a value for example a sub would be like web browser one dot go forward or go back those two are subs because they do not return a value you can't say label one dot text equals web browser one dot go back or something you can't say that because it doesn't return a value but a function does return a value and I'll show you two ways it will return so let's just name it what should this function do um, it will um it will show a message box and it will show a message box and if you click yes it'll close the program so public shared function name it whatever you want i'm going to name mine close with permission now this will not return a value so you actually have to change it to a sub so by val you don't need to by val anything you know what let's let's not do that because I want to do a function and I want to have by val stuff like that um how about get get file count get file count by by val 
folder path or just path path as string as integer now you see as integer well as integer get file count will now have a value so if you say label one dot text equals uh equals get file count and in parentheses in parentheses it will ask you for the path of the folder to get the file count from and it will return an integer so label one's text will be an integer so get file count um dim <coughs> dim list as new array list list dot i list dot add range now see here's an example io dot get io dot directory dot get file see here you see get files this is a function because get files returns a value what value does it return an item collection this can a collection can be added to um, an array whatever you want i need to speed up here a little bit anyway so get files it returns an item collection and path and the user is going to enter this path thing now oh close the parentheses okay now get get file count so now you're returning get file count if you don't say get file count equals whatever then this function will return an error now it will throw a null reference e exception because well get file count now has no value aka it's null so we have to set value equals list dot count so the amount of items it's listing all the files from path and it's the amount of items now you don't have to worry about saying like try catch whatever all that stuff because if if there's an error it'll just show it on on the windows form because it's not our fault if there's an error now so let's go to debug and build test DLL. Now it's gonna um or whatever you named your file. It's gonna load for a couple of seconds, um. But otherwise, it 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 loads fine. So why don't I just open that up? Let's create a new instance of Visual Basic. And the reason for this is because we need to create a Windows Forms application to test out our new DLO. So, click on new project, and let's create a Windows Forms application. I'm gonna name it test DLL2, because I already attempted this once. Now, once it loads, which I hope it loads soon. Okay, here it goes. And this, of course, brings up a form because, well, there's a form. This is a Windows Forms application now. Make the form a little bit bigger. Open up the toolbox. My computer's really slow today. Oh, my God. Come on, come on. Come on. Okay. Now, you want to add a button and a text box now you want to put this right here now we had get file count so text box one will be path okay test dll2 i don't know why the solution explorer is so big um why this is so thin either um, so, <coughs> now, we need to import our DLL. Now, 
when you click build whatever it automatically creates a DLL. Now we need to import that DLL. Let's just say go. I really need to speed up now. Uh, so click on project, add reference. Come on, 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 come on. No, this will take a while. Okay, click on browse. And you want to find your project. I named mine, where did I name it? Um, uh, test DLL dot dll yeah test dll so there should be two test dll's here test dll one was created yeah we know this was yesterday oh wait here it is oh no this is this is my windows forms application and where is my Okay, I'm gonna get this fixed and okay, I got a solution. So right back to the Windows form, and I called it DLL test, so it should appear here. But of course it didn't. Maybe I need to refresh it. Oh, come on, come on, refresh, come on, come on, please be there. Yes, DLL test, and I built it. Now the problem is I forgot to save it all, so make sure you do that. Um, debug. No, it's in release. Damn, man, this mouse. Okay, quickly open that and double click on go and above the class, the public class form one, you want to say Im imports DLL test dot test one because test one is the class. Now you want to say text box one dot text equals get file count see that's my own get file count text box one dot text and you can also say dot two string if you want to it doesn't matter though and that should work so let's just put in any folder let's put in any folder and see, I really need to hurry up. See, go, and it gets 54. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. One more feature quickly, quickly I'm going to show you. You can say summary, okay? Now the only thing is you don't need this if you don't want to. And this is just a description of the class. So you can say class for test gets file gets file count of given folder um and build it quickly and go back to test dll2 and you move your mouse over get file count and you see class for test gets file count of given folder and that's pretty much it so make sure to rate comment subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial especially i'm bringing up a new thing yep that's it so peace out